Rija Sharma and I am a pediatric ophthalmologist and squint surgeon. Today we will be discussing a very important entity that is squint or strabismus. So squint is basically when two eyes of a person are not aligned properly in any case. It can be present since birth or develop in later childhood or adult life due to other many factors. So how does squint affect our lives? We all know squint as a major cosmetic concern in a patient's life, be it a child or adult. Confidence while facing the world or society and the social life all are affected. When it comes to kids, squint affects them more than the cosmesis. Number one is the vision. The connections between eye and brain form during the early years of life, that is eight to nine years of age. And whenever there is any disruption in that, the eyes loses it the vision, partially or completely. So if the squint is not corrected in early years of life, it can lead to vision loss in the child. Number two is the 3D vision or depth of perception. We all know that we require our both eyes to perceive the depth of something. And whenever squint is there in early years of life, brain forgets the 3D vision and it is impossible for the brain to retrieve it back later on. So the child faces many problems in day to day activities. Number three is the personality. A child when goes to school and learn from teachers and school, there is a lot of to do with the coordination between the eyes and facing the world. And when a child with squint feels less confident and doesn't develop his or her personality in the best way. So what to do when a person or your child has squint? So number one is consult your doctor as soon as possible. So you need to go to your pediatric ophthalmologist or strabismologist and they will evaluate you in detail. A proper vision checkup, evaluation of the squint, whether it is a recent onset or late onset will help the doctor to decide the treatment. Squint can be corrected in many ways. A few variety of squints can be corrected with proper glass correction or the prism correction. A few of the squint require exercises and a few of the squints require surgeries. So what are the myths which goes around squint? Number one, that squint is lucky. No, as we have discussed, squint is not lucky. It is anything but lucky. It can affect the vision permanently. Number two is squint is only cosmetic. No, squint is not at all only the cosmetic concern. There are multiple facets associated with it. Number three is the squint is not treatable. Squint is treatable in 80 to 90 percent of cases. It may require more than one treatment method or more than one surgery, but yes, it is treatable. So if you know someone in your family or your neighborhood or the child who has squint or some adult who is struggling with squint in his social life, please tell them to visit their doctor. Our doctor can properly evaluate them and give them the proper guiding instructions regarding the treatment. A very important thing to consider is whenever there is, is a squint in child, it is important for a doctor to see the child as early as possible. Many a times parents think that they will take the child later on when the child is 6 years or 7 years of age or ready for evaluation. But don't forget that doctor is more experienced to evaluate the child than you and they will do as so, whatever required as soon as possible. A little late can affect the vision of your child permanently.